Hello everybody, you're listening to a round of games featuring Sam and Darian. Um, it is the t- November 27th. We're getting like Darian. super close to the uh, end of the year. I was going to get to that. Um, <laughs> I, I am Sam. I am joined by not Darian, but Dan. Yep. Uh, Darian isn't here, isn't available today. Um, so, well, I, I, I guess I could try and call him later, see if he wants to do yeah. the uh, the question. But Let's see if that works out. Um, but yeah, he's uh, he went, he was out last night uh, at the time of recording because um, his birthday was during the week, and he wanted to uh, have some fun time and go out drinking. And yeah, he messaged me about four a.m. saying, "I'll probably be drinking." Uh, yeah, sounds like sounds all right. <laughs> yeah, um, so yeah, I'm here with Dan, and we're going to talk about some video games and stuff that we've been playing or doing and whatever else the past couple of weeks. Because um, I suppose you've been on the past the last two of these, because the last one was the big one, wasn't it? And then the one before that was the uh, the one that me, you, and Kevin were on. Yeah, or, the or was there one in between that? that? I think there was one in between. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, there, there may have been one where it was me and Darren. Um, yeah. Uh, so since um, since the last podcast, I uh, I've been playing a, a lot more of Assassin's Creed Rogue um, after giving up on four because of that annoying glitch yes. that happened. Um, I've been messing around on that a bit more, and uh, I realised earlier today when I was playing it that um, well, I looked at the progress tracker and I was like twenty two percent of the way through the like everything. Okay, um, and I was on chapter one. <laughs> uh, and I, th- I think I've said it before, but like like every open world game, is once you get to like the open worldy bit of it, you just kind of go and do whatever. And uh, I kind of did the same thing with this. Yeah. And um, so if you think like Black Flag, but smaller, there's like two maps, two like bodies of water. Yeah. yeah. Um, that you go th- uh, that you can go to, and I sort of cleared out all of one of those, uh, with the exception of some stuff that was like. Um, progress further in the story to unlock oh, this yeah, yeah. Ac- uh, activity or whatever in uh, certain islands. Um, but yeah, I, I kind of been to almost all of the locations in both of those two. <laughs> and uh, New York is the other undiscovered location, which okay. I, I haven't been to. I don't think I went there on the 360 either. Okay. So I don't think I've ever been there. But considering how much stuff is still like to do, I assume it's like a big city. Yeah, probably. So I'm quite looking forward to uh, checking that out and how that, that looks. Hmm. Um, but yeah, I spent like a good couple of days or so, uh, just kind of roaming around the sea and not having upgrades to my ship. So entering some of the harder areas, I, I, I died a couple of times on bigger boats. Um, and I haven't even gotten to the point where like you, uh, make money from businesses and stuff Oh, okay. either. So, uh, now that I've like sort of done everything I can, I'm starting to do story missions and I got my rifle finally. Which is the like berserk sleep dart type thing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so I, I finally got that today, and uh, I'll actually do some proper story missions and get some better upgrades to my ship and or whatever go from there. Because um, I'm not that far away from where I kind of got to on the 360. All right. Okay. So uh, it'll be like new territory for me there, and uh, I think it might be better than back Black Flag, just because of like refined systems and stuff and. Hmm. It's uh, yeah. I, I mean, it's a remaster, so it's like polished up a little bit. Uh, but in terms of like core gameplay mechanics, it's like um, it's like the Hitman Two to Hitman One thing. It's like this yeah, game yeah. is really good, but they like tweaked some stuff that made things make more sense and made things like better. Um, so I guess you could say like maybe Hitman Two isn't as good as Hitman One if you were looking at it. Um, I I kind of think well, I've only done the Miami level so far, really, but. Technically, two is better than one, uh, and Rogue yeah. is kind of a sequel to Black Flag, and I feel the same way about that. Uh, we'll we'll see in terms of story, and however you know that stuff sort of holds up, but I'm not that deep into it really. Um, even though I am almost a quarter of the way through the game, <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot of collectibles and stuff. Uh, yeah, Manhattan was a viewpoint, so I'm quite quite looking forward to checking that out. Mm, that'd be good. Not gonna have skyscrapers, no. but you know, it's gonna, still. Yeah, tall trees that you uh, climb through, <laughs> swing through, uh, like an old shitty Spider-Man. Uh, yeah, so I've been messing around with that. Um, haven't played any more God of War or like Red Dead Redemption or anything like that. Uh, but you spent an awful lot of time over the past couple of weeks on Red Dead. Yeah, I spent 
Yeah, it's been quite a bit of time, isn't it? Um, like, how do your thoughts kind of match up to a lot of other people's, which seem to be mixed? Um, I, well, I'm, well, I'm really enjoying it. It's, uh, yeah, it does seem like well, just GTA and horses, I guess. But I mean, that's the first one was sort of like that. But kind of, yeah, it's, it feels way different to the first game, though, because like, I really enjoyed the first game. But the yeah. it's just the sheer amount of mechanics and stuff they dump on top of you on this. It makes playing it like a bit of a chore um, compared to the first one. Yeah, I didn't really play too much of the first one, so I'm not sure mm. t- exactly what mechanics have been added on top. Because I've heard mixed things from people like who really enjoyed the first one but hate the second one. Oh, um, okay. I haven't heard anyone who like hated the first one but really enjoyed this one. Oh. Because I guess they might not give it a chance or something. Yeah, I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure what the uh, how much of the tone of the first one, but like the tone of this one, like some of the sort of side activities and the sort of strangers you can meet seems like GTA Five ish. In its yeah. sort of tone and presentation, yeah, which uh, I guess people may not appreciate, maybe from the first one. I don't, I don't know. know how much that, that they didn't really show up in the first one that much. Yeah, um, in this one, there's quite a lot of sort of sh- activities and stranger stuff in the world. Yeah, but they seem to be a bit more interesting, like cutscene wise, and then like because um, they're they're not side missions; they're activities, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I found one of. So the only one I found, um, actually no, I, I found this woman who like her horse died or was by the side of the road. I looted it. Um, I took her back to the farm. Yeah, I've had that one like, like twice. I yeah, that's exactly that, the same one. That will show up probably a couple of times. Um, but like the other one was like this guy on top of a cliff looking at a treasure map, and he yeah, gave me I one of those. Um, and I was like, fine, I'll buy this off you for like a hundred or whatever it was. However much money, maybe it was ten um, dollars. And uh, I got it. I've, I'm pretty sure I found the place where the stuff was buried. And I went there and I couldn't figure out like where exactly it was. Like oh. the cliffs looked exactly like it. And then I kind of got bored and stopped. Yeah, I've stopped got playing. that treasure map. But I haven't, I haven't actually followed up, up on that yet. Because there's like no waypoints or anything like that. It's a big world. And it's like, yo, go here. Yeah, I haven't, I, I haven't checked out And you're like, maps. where the hell? I, mean, has... I, I guess that makes sense that like, you wouldn't really have a waypoint actual waypoint you'd have to I suppose yeah it's like the map here's a map yeah, yeah I've not actually tried to any of the treasure stuff yet but it's like a picture of a little church at the bottom and then like these specific looking rocks which I definitely found but I can't I, I couldn't find the treasure hmm. yeah I went to the place where the X was on the drawing but I don't know um, it's like after going on Assassin's Creed where it's like yo here's the coordinates here's exactly where it is yeah yeah Oh, it's like it's an X marks a spot, but like the uh, landmarks are more prominent, so it's easy to tell where it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I've got like two maps now. I need to like follow up on. Hmm. You'll probably end up having loads. Yeah, because um, because I bought that one off that guy, and there was another guy uh that you can follow around a rob, or you can get this map off of it as well. That leads to a different treasure, I guess. Hmm. Um. But yeah, I'm not sure how that. I don't know whether that when you buy off him is like a chain of maps, maybe. That leads to another one. Yeah, maybe. There was like a little story of like some people hiding and shit. Yeah. So, so that one might be a bit more involved than the other one. Mm. There, but. Uh, so I'm still on like chapter two or whenever it was I left off. Uh, or maybe it was three. It's after you like move camp to a bigger location. Yeah, that's where I am down by um, the river or that lake. Uh, no, I'm still on top of the cliffs by the railroad track. I mean. Well, I suppose first place after you leave the snowy area. Oh right, oh the yeah, snowy area is not really camp. No, that's but a like story thing. Yeah, but like you all move to this like little old settlement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the railroad tracks. Yeah, that's and, yeah, that's your first camp. I've, yeah, so I've the, moved that's to where the, I am. I've moved to the like another camp. So camp. what's at that other location now then? After you move camp, there's nothing like a clearing. Uh, it's it's like a bigger sort of clearing with a like a, a big lake. Uh, that you're sort of no, I mean where to. the old one was, where you moved from. Uh, oh yeah, I guess so. I haven't been back there. Hmm. I mean, it, it pretty much just was sort of like a clearing out in the trees where you had those sp- small tents. Yeah. So I guess that's just gone back to being uh, an open field. Hmm. Have you done any fishing? Uh, I did. Uh, I did a sort of side mission with uh, like the kid in camp, like Jack. 
Uh, it's a sort of little side mission mm. where you go fishing with him, which I guess teaches you the fishing mechanic. Yeah. Uh, and I've done another one where you go fishing with Dutch and I think Hosea and the, like. Uh, that's kind of cool because you 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 take a you take a boat out with them and you're like rowing this boat out into this uh, <laughs> lake and then the, uh, as as you're fishing they're all telling these all these stories between each other and stuff which is really cool. Uh, How does it fare up against Final Fantasy 15? It's it's very similar. Shit. It's so uh, yeah. So basically, you you uh, you have your rod like you hold down. Uh, it's like L two on the PS four and you press R. Like the the longer you hold down R two, the further it'll cast it out. Uh, and then, so depending on what bait you've got, if you've got like a, I think cheese is the one that they uh, initially make put you put on there. If you if you put cheese on there, then you want to just leave the bait just sit, and the fish will nibble at it and then bite it, and then you hold down R two to like sort of. Hook is that the a thing fish. people do normally? Uh, yeah, it depends on because I mean if you're using like an artificial bait like a like like in Red Dead, you can have sort of like little metal lures, and then you want to sort of drag it through the water so it looks like a. A fish yeah, yeah. moving yes you need to like very slowly sort of rotate the right stick to sort of make the uh, the line sort of go and then and then they'll tag it off but yeah you mm. you need to hold the stick in the opposite direction the fish is swimming only reel it in when it's not like vibrating when it's not like t- tugging the line otherwise your line will break and you just sort of is there a bar that in. goes down for like... no there's no there, there didn't seem to be any like tension or strings okay, cool. or anything like does that does it seem just... fair then. Yeah, it it seems pretty easy to do. Um, That's pretty cool. The I, easy, need to, I need to do more story missions. The easy way to fish, though, is to have a bow and arrow, and you okay. want to sort of sit on like a, a, like, a like the shoreline or like uh, maybe on some kind of rocks like in the water in the river. Okay. And then you want to wait until the you can see the fish near you, and then just dead eye them with the with the bow and arrow, and then pick them out of the water. Huh. So that's uh, a. That's how you've been fishing then, huh? No, I haven't tried that yet, oh. but uh, apparently that's a pretty good way to do it. Uh, oh, yeah, that sounds You cool. can also use dynamite, which. Uh, yeah, that makes sense, I guess. Oh, because I guess I'm not sure that. Because apparently that's. Uh, sort of degrades the quality of the fish, which makes sense. I guess, yeah. But right. apparently that uh, you can use that as much as you want on a legendary fish that they don't seem to care about dynamite. <laughs> so you still get the, the sort of high quality legendary fish. Oh, cool. Uh, legendary fish yeah I've come across uh, I found the area on the map where a legendary fish is because uh, you do that mission earlier on with uh, Jose where you go track this uh, this bear which is an introduction to the legendary uh, animals oh okay I haven't done that uh, and he sort of gives you a, I think he gives you a map of like where they are which you can look at I think and then you uh, as as you explore the world they'll get marked on your map when you come into their like little area their designated zone oh, okay and then it'll have like a like on the map it has like a picture of fish with like a little crown on it which means a here is where a legendary fish is if you want to go after it and it sort of I'm marks sure it was it. a little fish with a little crown on it yeah that'd be quite great <laughs> but yeah so uh oh cool the legendary animals seem pretty good I haven't actually been after any of the uh no I've been I uh I killed a legendary stag I think a deer up in the snowy area because uh, there was a mission up there and I and it was like a you stumbled upon a, a legendary animal in this area if you want to look around for it and I'm like oh okay <laughs> so you use your uh, eagle vision thing yeah to uh, sort of use that and then you have there's a gold sparkle coming up and you sort of go over and examine it it's like a here's some like a deer poop and there's like, and then, and then you follow the trail nice. up, up to these uh, other parts. Yeah. It's like here's where it's been grazing and stuff, and you keep following it along. You gotta take it down. But, uh, hmm. Anything else? Um, have you been focusing on like story missions, or have you been doing other stuff as it comes up, or? I've done. Kind of wandering around. Yeah, I've been pretty much doing all of the missions that come up. Uh, because there's been. Because I think uh, any of the sort of yellow or gold symbols on the map denotes sort of like missions with story or missions to progress the story. And then you got those ones with the like white areas. Because there's a there's a debt collector guy. He tells you to go around and collect in a bunch of debts. Okay. From people, and they appear as like white circles on the map. You have to go to the map and uh, find find them. the area where they are and then intimidate them or do whatever to get their stuff. Hmm. Uh, I've done a 
bunch of the bounties for the sheriffs in the towns in Valentine and uh, Strawberry. Uh, Still such a great name for a town. <laughs> yeah, but you go into the uh, those jails and they have posters on the wall and you pick them up and you can talk to the sheriff about about and they'll tell you more about them. As just hunts. Yeah, yeah, and you to, and then you to go use your lasso to bring them in uh, alive. Nice. Uh, they put them in jail. And I've done there's a it's like a side mission in a bar. This guy wants to uh, write a book about this legendary gun singer who was there in the bar with him drunk. Uh-huh. Um, and he wants you to go and talk to these other gun singers that like ran with him or like cross paths with him in the past and you go along and you do like duels with them. Uh, hmm. to sort of uh, fill out this book which is kind of annoying f- uh, for me and a lot of other people too oh, with the trigger your, situation because your controller is uh... yeah like uh, a, a lot of people have this issue where the PS4 controllers they're uh, because they're analog but they have a a certain threshold of where they're fully depressed hmm. where uh, and developers can set this the sort of fully depressed sort of setting on the controllers to various states. Yeah. But a lot of people are having the issue where their controllers have, have either sort of they sort of fail over time or they're just not durable. And so even though you're holding the trigger down fully, you can't mm. duel. Yeah, because um because the the, the dueling system is where you, you hold you hold down the trigger and a bar gradually fills up in the bottom right, and then once that's full. You fully depress R2 and it'll bring his gun out into Dead Eye and then you paint the target and then shoot them. Hmm. But if your trigger is not, can't fully depress it down right, then you just can't draw and you end up losing hmm. like every time. <laughs> so I, whenever that happens, I literally have to pause the game, switch to the alternate control method, which is L1 and R1, and then do the duel. Oh, okay. And then switch back again. So then it's just a button. Yeah, yeah, you just hold down R one, it goes all the way around. You just keep it, keep it held down, and you just uh, goes. Yeah. Uh, so mm. yeah, and that. Maybe uh, you should have asked for a new controller for Christmas. Yeah, that'd be. Uh, <laughs> They're down to like thirty quid now, I think. Yeah, <laughs> that'd be pretty handy. Because, yeah. Uh, mm. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, I've pretty much just done that whenever the duels have come up. You just sort of pause it mid duel, <laughs> switch the controls over, and away you go. Mm. Feel a little bit annoying, but too bad that's cool though you're not overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that's in the game is it no there doesn't I mean there's not there's not like a huge amount to uh, contend with I don't think I mean I haven't had any c- complaints about too many systems I mean there is the sort of uh, crafting uh, which you need sort of various resources you need to upgrade some things in the camp to get bigger satchels to equip more or carry more things more materials hmm. what happens if you don't um, like donate anything to the camp after a while I don't know I've had the because because uh, there's, there's three bars in the uh, when you walk into the camp in the top right it shows you the states what is it food medicine food and... medicine and ammo I think is the other one yeah but like I'm, uh, I did spend a while where every time I went back into camp all of those things were red and I mean yeah because I had that and then I... I, but I think that kind of only affects you. I brought back a load of food because um, I could like never find or just be able to donate the other stuff. Um, I donated so, like a, a... I spent a lot of the uh, the first chapters just donating everything I had to the camp. Yeah. And just upgrading it. Uh, but yeah, because you can have... You can upgrade the place where you keep your horses so you can call your horse back to camp whenever you are uh, or you can retrieve horses from stables. Oh, at cool. your camp uh, you get like a chicken coop which adds because uh, um, every day they cook that stew and you can eat the stew and it yeah. gives you a, like a buff for some amount of time or whatever and if you upgrade there's like chicken coops and upgrade other things then you get more benefits out of that hmm. like reinforcing your dead eye I think it's one of the upgrades and stuff oh cool uh, but yeah like um, I think keeping ammo ammo that are stocked is mainly for you because you can walk behind uh, one of the or some of the buildings there or the, the tents there I guess and then uh, you can pick up just ammo just sitting around and you can pick up uh, I'm not sure if you can pick up food or whether the food's for other people but yeah you can pick up uh, medicine and food and things 
from the camp, and I assume that's mainly to do with you. I haven't heard anyone mm. complain about any of the stocks being low. Yeah. Uh, I think people may have mentioned it like once or twice, but it didn't seem to be anything negative for it. Huh. That's okay. But, yeah, uh, I mean, your gun's wearing out. Well, not, not the wearing out, but it becoming dirty is not that big of an issue. Yeah, because you can clean it whenever. Yeah, I mean, you you do have to use, like, one gun oil to do, like, any kind of cleaning. Hmm. Um, but uh, if you uh, if you put wraps on your guns in the customized menu in the, like, the gunsmiths uh, or any of the gun buildings, uh, that like significantly reduces uh, the amount that your guns get, get dirty. Huh. Um, so, so yeah, if you do that and stock up on gun oil, you don't have to use, um, just only use gun oil when the uh, the stats are sort of getting because uh, those little bars sort of go down and they go into like red, and that means they're sort of like they really need cleaning. Yeah. So you can kind of save it and only use gun oil then, uh, or you could just sort of buy like a load of different guns and sort of occasionally swap guns but you do get familiarity with using certain weapons over time like if you if you get a certain gun that you really like and keep using it then it will uh that's what those gray bars on the end of the stats far for immediately sort of grows into that and you right, fill yeah. those out and then you get the sort of full potential of each of the guns which is cool uh that's cool but yeah that, that system's kind of cool uh i can I can do wield pistols now because oh, you get nice. like a, a. I bought like a second holster because um, I did the the, the, the those ra- those random encounters like the woman where you uh like a uh, her horse has died and you pick her up or you you, yeah. you, you take uh pick her up you, you sort of pick the horse off of her and uh, lift it up and she get free and you can offer to take oh, her. Oh, I haven't seen that. Oh, wasn't that the one you went? No, to? she was just walking down the road and oh, like, her I... horse was dead. Um. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's all the same thing. It's like a she's fallen or like her horse died, sort of has pinned her leg, and you can lift the horse up, and then you can just sort of leave her, I guess, or you can offer to take her back to the yeah. farm. Uh, but then, because there was this guy caught in a bear trap, okay. uh, and I sort of pried the bear trap open, and I gave him some whiskey uh, As you do. for the pain, and then, uh, <laughs> and then I went to, I think it's like the town you go after you go to the second camp. It's like sort of south east of the uh yeah of the map uh i went there and then uh that guy was there talking to his buddy about the story and i walked up to him he's like hey this is the guy that rescued me it's like uh you can uh have like one item for free on my like tab in this like building yeah and uh what do you get i went in there and got like uh well uh i've done it twice now i think i think that guy i got a um i think it was a general store he was outside of and I walked inside and I was like, he was like, you could take one item. So I'm like, what's the most expensive item in here? Yeah. And uh, so, so I just like, uh, this outfit, this new outfit is like a hundred something dollars or whatever. Nice. And I was like, ah, sweet. Uh, I think the first guy I rescued, I think there was a guy I rescued from some wolves, I think or something. He was being attacked by. And then I met him in the town later on and he, uh, and that was a gunsmith. I think it was in Valentine. Oh. And he was like, uh, go in and get a gun. I was like, ooh. Uh, so I got, uh, I bought a, I think, I think that was when I got the second holster for the pistol so you can do wield you get like two yeah. holsters on uh, I was like oh so what's the most expensive gun I can get but some guns some guns you can only get after certain points in the story oh so you couldn't even get them like then. a side mission because because uh, there are rifles with like scopes on them uh, and you there's a story mission where you get like a, a sniper with a scope I assume mm. that unlocks that category in the shop which uh, yeah was a bit annoying at the time because I was like, ah, oh, there's really expensive guns here, but I can't get them. Hmm. Uh, so yeah, doing those random encounters is uh, kind of handy. If you walk back into town and see if uh, the person you rescued is there, that's, that's kind of nice. cool. So it's stuff like that that makes it really yeah. There's there are a really lot of like, stand uh, out from other games. There are a lot of like really like small that. details in the world. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that's, that's like cool. A, yeah. Yeah, I was looking at of. Uh, sort of list of like small details and things in the game is like really good like uh because you can come across people that tried to steal your horse like that uh there was a guy that was like i need help and i was like okay rode over to him he's like uh yeah he tried to steal my horse he chucked me off and then jumped on my horse like that and then i just dead-eyed him in the back yeah uh, but apparently you could if you whistle to your horse 
after they get after it gets stolen, uh, they will buck the guy off of the horse. Oh man! Onto the floor, uh, which is kind of cool. That makes sense, I suppose. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, you, you, you form this bond, and like yeah. the horse has been stolen, <laughs> and then <laughs> you whistle, which I thought was kind of neat. Uh, yeah, I have to remember that. Yeah, that's really cool. Uh, uh, if you hold down up on the D-pad to whistle, you can have your horse follow you at a distance. Apparently. Okay. Which I didn't know about because I, I I knew you could like whistle to your horse to have it run over to you, and then if you're like hunting or whatever, you can just have it come over rather than carrying a carcass like slowly up towards a horse. Mm. Uh, but yeah, you can if you hold down up uh, for the whistling, the horse will follow you, which is nice. Uh, okay. There is a the, the, there was a thing where, which I found out where you can you can have like a convoy of horses. Because you can have your main horse and you can have like two temporary horses, yeah, uh, back at your like camp or whatever. But if you if you get on a horse, if you had these horses are bonded with you, if you get on a horse and then whistle, the other horses will follow you. So you can have a convoy of like three horses. Do you have to assign your main horse or just uh, the main horse is like the one you got your main saddle on, which is one with all your guns and, oh, and okay. stuff in it. And then the other horses are just other horses. Why would why would you want them to follow you around? Uh, so you can carry like a load of. Huh. Uh, animals if you wanted to go hmm. hunting for a lot so you can put like oh, a lot of big deers and stuff on there you can have this little convoy of horses following you around because I uh, what if they get scared and run away or something uh, I mean th- th- that would happen if you come across like, other predators I guess but mm. I mean if you're on trails and stuff it's not too bad I think you can still like whistle to keep them on because uh, I know normally you press L3 to, when you're on a horse to calm it down when you're riding it uh, but I guess you can't do that with the other horses but mm. That's yeah. pretty cool though. Have you done that then? <clears throat> um, I did it once when I, because uh, I did a, I was just riding around and there was one of those little uh, um, sort of side activities where uh, this guy was like trying to calm down his horse. I think his horse like kicked him and I think it like killed him and like uh, he ran off up to the hills. So I, uh, so I walked up and you can hold down, if you hold down like L2 to like target the horse or whatever, you can press square to like calm it down. Yeah. Uh, I kept uh, I kept calming the horse down and then it said uh, oh it's calmed uh, and yeah. I was like well this guy's dead I might as well just have this horse now because <laughs> the stats on it were pretty good so I like, got on that horse whistled for my horse and my horse just followed me and I just took them both back to camp so I was like hmm yeah this uh, that might be handy if you have multiple horses uh, sort of stabled at your camp mm-hmm. and you, if, you, like, if you just decided to want to go out hunting because because uh, around the first camp you can find like quite a few like deers and uh, just other things sort of other animals around so like it would be, be kind of easy um, with you back at the first camp to just grab like another horse and then just take them both like a little bit away from the camp and just like hunt deer and you can just instead of taking like one back at once yeah, I might do that. Bad. Man, it was so nice when I found out that you don't have to carry that carcass over to the uh Yeah, that was the thing. Uh, just like stop go back to your camp, leave it there. Just hitch it up and then go and run talk. up to that guy. Yeah, then, yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you can do that anyway, you can do that in towns and that was all. Oh, man, it's so useful. Yeah. Like not pulling it off and then pulling the uh <laughs> just, just sort of sells it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you 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 can put if 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 you do actually skin the animal uh, and and like d- depending on how big the animal is, because I think I did it with some wolves, and like their pelts are like a uh, like small and sort of flat, and it he sort of flattens them out on the like yeah. back of the horse. You can put like a quite a lot of those on top of each other. Okay. Um, because hmm. I put I think I had like three or four that were just like small pelts on top of each other, uh, which is nice. I'm not sure how many of the rolled up ones you can have, but you can also I think it's just the one because it puts it on. The back of yeah, the horse, it was like back, a bundle. It up. Yeah, but because I had, because uh, uh, I killed that legendary deer, but there was also some, I think there was some turkeys nearby as well that I killed, okay. and like you can hang them like on the side of the horse as well. There's like sort of little, little hooks or whatever. That you yeah, put on the side. Yeah, you can have one on each side. So you can have like a big Maybe animal two on, on the back. each side. Sure. Uh, there's this farm that's close to the. I think the, I only um, have one of you on each side. That's sort of well. close to the camp where I where I am now. Yeah. And uh, I went there, and um, 
I, I sort of got close to it and this farmer guy was like really angry <laughs> and he was like get away from me like get, get away from my farm right. uh, he's like he thought I was up to something and I was like calm down <laughs> and then um, I came back at night time and uh, he was doing his thing in his uh, in his house so I went and uh, shot one of his pigs and carried that out chucked that on my horse um, stole some of his chickens put them on there as well yeah uh, and then I came back in the morning and like I, I ran I, I like walked up to him and he was like you did this you like yeah you, as if like he knew like some uh, like some of his animals had gone missing so you kind of like drew his gun on me immediately so I took care of him <laughs> like no one around I was like yeah. whatever so I dumped him in his house uh, looted everything he had which wasn't a lot to be fair um, and then I thought well whilst I'm here I might as well take the rest of these pigs yeah uh, so I went over there Shot one with an arrow. Didn't realize that um, there were some people passing, like not that far away. Oh right. And I got a bounty for like <laughs> animal cruelty. Okay. Um, so I didn't really have time for them to like, go get them, but like share, uh, like uh, cops started rolling up yeah, on yeah. the farm. So I managed to like get away uh, okay, but I did have that small bounty on my head then. It wasn't a lot, but it still kind of sucked. But it was cool that that like that guy knew that something had happened, like. He, some of his animals had gone missing. Yeah, well, um, <clears throat> supposedly, uh, pe- uh, if you if you keep like sort of committing crimes in the same area, like uh, people will start recognizing you by your clothes because they're, right, they're, yeah. they're, because even though you can have a mask on, they'll recognize your clothes uh, after a while, and you'll they'll be more suspicious of you. So yeah. uh, you you might kind of want to like very occasionally if you're doing killing sprees like change your like summer clothes or winter clothes or whatever at camp yeah just, just a different outfit for a while and that will sort of uh lessen the uh people noticing you if you're not using like a full mask which is kind of cool and, and neat uh, people will recognize you by your clothes which i guess makes sense yeah uh, but at least you can carry face. three different outfits on your yeah on your all time i do have a summer a winter and a sort of regular casual yeah one. that's what i got like they're the only ones you'd need like yeah i mean whatever. you kind of only need the winter one when you're actually i think i think the second camp uh i think it might be a bit colder at the time where i am hmm. or like some of the areas are a bit colder yeah anyway uh, yeah um didn't mean to spend as much time as, as that on red dead makes a red dead cast uh Is but you enjoying it though yeah 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 i need to play some more of the uh sort of story Man, that was such a big down, uh, like the big install as well. Did you have to make it wasn't any, really. any space uh, in order to get it on there? Because it, it, it does go up to a hundred odd gig, doesn't it? Yeah, I think I had to delete a few things. But yeah, it's, like, yeah, it's, it's really large. Yeah. <laughs> You've been uh, playing anything else? Then? Um, still been playing it? bits and pieces of Destiny. As, yeah. Uh, you m- finished the content of the uh, Forsaken? Uh uh, y- yeah, I mean, the, there's uh, season five is starting next week, and then uh, the new, the next DLC uh, will be out. The Black Army will be out a week after that, December December fourth or whenever that Tuesday is, sixth, fourth. It's Tuesday, yeah, fourth. Yeah, yeah. So that's when the uh, new DLC is coming out, which is. Uh, Gonna be interesting. The, the, uh, like, so, so Forsaken was like a big expansion, and these ones seem to be sort of smaller injections of content. But I think the way they're doing this is like they're gonna roll the content out for these smaller expansions over time. So it's, it's not just gonna be like oh, a okay, so this Forsaken where it's just, you're just gonna be dumped in. You're just gonna do like a lot of the stuff yeah. the first week. But this is the season pass of this. Yeah, this is like the annual it? pass. Yeah, thing. So yeah, that'd be kind of interesting. It'd be kind of cool to have things, uh, for there to sort of be a bit of stuff for like the first week or two, and then have things trickle out. Because mm. uh, Forsaken was kind of like that with the way that the sort of story went. And it was nice to have uh, things to keep sort of happening every week, rather than just sort of like a lot of people sort of blazing through it and then only having sort of like the uh, sort of raid and high level stuff to do yeah uh, this makes more sense if as long as it's like a decent amount of content each time 
So to yeah, keep people so, going and not like omission. Yeah, it, take well, like ten minutes. Well, they, yeah, they said uh, that these aren't. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to have specific. I don't think they're going to have like story things with cutscenes and other things like that. Yeah, um, but they're going to have. There's going to be like lore and sort of a continuation of the sort of uh, uh, the sort of stories of the Guardians are going to be like following around as like new vendors, uh, hmm. new factions apparently, and gunsmiths and things in this one. It's all to do with uh, yeah, it's just, well, it's just sort of with the armory, this black armory, and possibly this new rarity of gun. I don't know how that's what that's about. I guess okay. we'll see in a few weeks. Yeah. Uh, other than that, playing Overwatch, I guess the new hero Ash was out. Oh yeah. It's a new uh, cowboy themed McCree related hero. It was pretty fun to play with. Uh, I, did you, Anything you, special? Like I've you just, saw that cinematic? Uh, yeah. I assume that robot is going to be the next one. Then after that. Uh, Echo possibly yeah. uh, no um, she's not hero 20 the, the next hero but she will probably be one at, at some one point. point oh okay so they do have another one in the works uh, supposedly they've got another one near enough finished hmm uh, they're like the next hero is like really playable apparently yeah uh, so I'm not sure when they'll when they'll come out um, yeah Echo will probably be a hero at some point but you know uh, Bob the big robot in yeah. there Bob is Ash's alt yeah I've seen that uh, yeah that's, that's cool uh, yeah, it's quite fun using him. So yeah, she's a pretty fun hero to use. Huh. Um, that's pretty much it at the moment, I guess. Cool. Okay. Mm. Well, I finished uh, Tetris. Um, Sweet. Which well, I guess that's a bit of a weird thing to say. I yeah, finished yeah. the I finished the journey mode on Tetris. Yeah, yeah, it makes more sense. Uh, Tetris Effect. Um, yeah. On Friday, and. Um, those like later levels are really cool. Uh, so I finished it in VR. Um, I did the last good. set of levels. There were like six or seven left, um, including the last one, and um, which is nice because it feels like a sort of mashup of all the other levels visually. Huh. Okay. Um, I know you're just playing Tetris throughout it, but like just just the the music and the visuals and stuff just make that game something else. Yeah. And um, it's like other than Res probably like still my favorite um vr experience huh um tetris effect like i haven't played astrobot which people seem to be gushing over like at the moment okay i don't quite know why that's so special i really enjoyed that demo that they put out on the playroom the uh, little like platformy type thing yeah, yeah. but like the, this they made a full game out of it and it's apparently incredible mm, um so i, I kind of need to play that and it's been super cheap on some sales so yeah i might get that soon um but yeah like just the VR aspect of Tetris is so cool. Yeah. Um, it looks and sounds amazing. I really want that full soundtrack to come out, but they said it might be a little while. So I'll be going off the uh, sampler when it comes to my Game of the Year stuff. Hmm. Um, but yeah, kind of everything about that is a, uh, a very nice, pleasant chill. Yeah. Uh, well, until speeds start getting up there. Oh, well, um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I finished the journey on... Uh, beginner and norm, okay. normal is next which is just like a couple of other a couple of um, speed levels up oh, yeah. from what you, you get to normally and uh, I got to I think it was upwards to like level 10 or so which might not be too much for most like high level uh, Tetris players or people who are like really good at it Yeah, but um, in terms of just playing it casually and enjoying it it, uh, it was still quite a bit Okay. Yeah, it was it was intense, um, but yeah, super happy with how that that turned out, and um, yeah, even like the credits of that was just such a cool experience <laughs> to have. Yeah, so sitting there reading those whilst having music playing, and you're flying through this weird cosmos of bits, stuff flying around everywhere. Yeah, it was, it was awesome. Um, so yeah, I finished that. Um, mm. I met up with Sean last week. On Saturday, we went to Cardiff, wandered around, had um, done some Christmas shopping. I don't think he actually bought anything, but I bought a p- couple of bits and pieces, um, none of which I can talk about here because you're here. <gasps> um, there may be a gift or two 
So yeah, those boxes there on the floor are like full up with Christmas shit, and that's all wrapped and ready, ready to go in like a month, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I thought I'd get it out of the way and done. Nice. And um, yeah, but the thing I can talk about is that I uh, I bought four parts of Dragon Ball Super on Blu-ray. I'm not there yet because I've still got like half of part two of Kai and uh, all of part three, which comes out in like three weeks or something like that. Oh. Um, to watch yet and I, I did try looking to see if there was anything between Kai and Super that I needed to watch like film wise or just mm. any kind of extra story bits but mm. I, I'm not sure of the gap between the two series yeah I'm not um, sure but uh, yeah I thought well they were like uh, it said two for 25 quid or 15 pound each um, so there was five five parts out and I grabbed the first four just got those yeah um i know they're like smaller parts they're like only 13 episodes as opposed to the like kai stuff where it's 22 23 or something like that um but still like I th- i'm pretty sure they were like 20 when they came out yeah anime or, or 25 yeah uh darian said that it's just still kind of insane well the, the kai stuff with 23 episodes and they were like 25 quid like that i, I felt okay with it's not too bad yeah like ha- having it for that much um but then like these these parts of the uh final chapters bits or the boo saga which is what i'm watching right now uh came out they're the s- length of a season about 23 episodes in each and um they finally came out over here like i said part three is yeah. out in a couple of weeks part two came out a couple of weeks ago um, and part one came out in October. Uh, they came out in at least on Amazon and HMV as forty quid. That's quite a bit. Luckily, I found them on Zavi for like twenty eight. So I've, I've been I pre-ordered them all off of there because that, that's not too bad. Yeah. But like forty is insane. Yeah, that's quite um, a bit. I don't know whether it's to cover the costs of the um, like putting it out because I'm surprised it took this long. Yeah. To come in, you know? uh, and it's been out in America since like for about five years or something like that it's like it's been an ins- insane amount of time otherwise I would have to either watch them online uh, which I did for the first couple of episodes before um, before they put these discs out or I'd have to like import it from Australia which would be like well about 40 quid anyway yeah yeah um, and I could only find part one of that oh. but then like suddenly these just showed up <laughs> I, I was looking on Amazon for like Christmas stuff and then like they showed up with like release dates and I was like oh damn that's weird I'll do that Uh, because I've been watching all of Kai this year in like sort of uh, five episode chunks whilst uh, listening to um, the guys over at Giant Bomb doing that uh, anime podcast of All Systems Goku and we watched like five a week or so and um, I listened to the latest episode today which takes us up to episode 138 Mm. I think and uh, part two takes us to 144 Okay. So I've still got a little bit before um before part three comes out. But the issue is that now, uh, because they're doing Game of the Year stuff and like doing all this other bits around holidays and things like that, they're not gonna do another episode until January. Oh, yeah. So um I'm up to date in terms of them. I could technically watch another five and then wait around for the next episode of that podcast. Because yeah. it's a really nice refresher of like watching the five, listening to them discuss the five and then doing the next week. Yeah. Um, but if they're waiting until January, which is like, well, a month and a half away, uh, yeah. that's going to be a bit awkward. So it's either that or I just don't watch any just yet and wait. Yeah, I guess so. Um, but I kind of got all these super episodes and I, I'm really looking forward to watching that because it's like the stuff I've seen of super is like really clean. Um, yeah, it's like it was pretty recent, that's why. Yeah, because like Dragon Ball Z was, well... I mean, the ones I'd be watching now is like sort of late 90s, early 2000s or something like that, maybe. Uh, I'm not sure when the Boo stuff was out. Um, but, like, all this stuff is set seven years after the end of the Cells things. Yeah. So uh, I assume it, it, there was a big gap between actual production-wise on it uh, as well. I don't think it was seven years, but... <laughs> no, no. I, but, I mean, like, a, there was a gap. Yeah, I think... Yeah, between somewhere. it, you know? Um, so... Uh, there, there's probably a gap between this and Super, like whenever this finished, because they had the GT shit in between, which nobody cares about. Yeah. Um, and whatever else, like putting this Kai run out. So, uh, but yeah, like 
super seems really cool, but there's no Kai version of it, so whatever um, well, yeah, filler it's... episodes will, I guess, still be in there. Oh yeah, I guess so as well. But I, I, I think I'm not sure what I think it gets straight to the point a bit more than like most anime. Yeah, are there any fillers? I, th- I think there was there is some that is it just sort of like is it just might be an episode? episode or yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it's not gonna be like a yeah. whole series in there. So I'm I'm not worried too much about it, yeah, but yeah. like I've kind of grown to like the uh, goofiness of the uh, the odd episode that we do get weird stuff in hmm. uh, in Kai, and like I'm I'm glad I'm not watching the original one because like knowing that there's like ten episodes between shit which has like some weird side story that means nothing to like the overall thing, yeah, yeah. or the uh, or the other bits in between, but and like, I really liked how quick it gets to stuff like the the final chapter stuff seems to be dragging on a little bit more than i would like hmm. like there seems like they like this should this could have been cut and they could have like done this two episodes shorter hmm. but um but yeah we're getting there and i'm i'm enjoying it uh hmm. and we'll, we'll see what happens over christmas because uh darian's well actually he's got to catch up on like a lot of episodes he's like 20 behind me now oh. or so but he's already seen it before so yeah, yeah it's, not too bad. it's fine uh but um, yeah, Kieran said he wants to watch Super along with me, um, and I don't know what Jeff and Dan are gonna do, podcast wise. Once we finish Kai, whether they're gonna take a big break or go into Super or something like that. So yeah. that's gonna be kind of a bummer. Um, having to wait probably it'll be four five months before watching any of that stuff. So, mm. uh, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. Um. In terms of, I don't actually think I've been playing much else uh, or watching anything really. Kind of behind on a lot of our TV stuff, mm. um, which we need to catch up on. Uh, but I did just get word from Darian. He is ready to um, answer the question, which uh, I guess we'll check out shortly. Um, my dad just sent me a picture of mac and cheese with bacon. That looks pretty good. I'm not sure where they are. It looks really nice. It does, doesn't it? Hmm. Man, I'm hungry. I haven't had any food. Yeah. Remember when we saw someone after this? I did buy a Kirby statue. He's holding a little rice ball and he's like hyped yeah, as fuck. Yeah, that looks pretty good. <laughs> I posted some pictures on Twitter if you want to go check that out. Um, but I'm going to give Darian a call and we'll uh, get this question over with. Um, I think I got it wrong last time. Oh. And he got it right? Is that how it went? Uh, hold up. Let me get these questions. Hello. 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 Right, he is. hang on. Hold those. I think they're Darian's. Okay. I'm just getting questions about it. <laughs> Alright, no problem. How are you guys? I'm okay, how are you? Yeah, doing good. Good. You been up too much? Not really. I died last night, so we're on the train, right? Okay. The train was only supposed to be 40 minutes. We're on the train for like an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, a, a carriage at the head was vandalised, so we couldn't like move anymore. So we were just, we literally, we pulled out of Cardiff. Five minutes later, we just stopped dead. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, it was hot, and the train was packed, so it was just, we had to stand up in the corridor. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, what time was it? It was horrible. Uh, at that time, it was about half eleven. <laughs> we didn't get back to like one a.m. Oh man! Uh, <laughs> I'm shuffling my cards. Make sure you shuffle the other cards as well. What? Well, Dan's. Yeah. Or yours, rather. Dan shuffle them. Yeah, yeah, mine. Okay. Shuffle. Alright, uh, we're going to play rock, paper, scissors to uh, decide who goes first. Alright, you got this. Okay, least. Dan. I win. Dan won. You get to go first. Yes. Okay, Dar, read the go. question. Okay, Dar, are you ready to read this question? <laughs> okay. I'm, hol- I'm holding my phone up to the card. What year was... <laughs> no, 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 sadly you're, you're wrong. <laughs> All right, let, let's let Dan do it since he can actually see it. Yeah, he might be better for this. Under what name is the football game World Soccer Winning Eleven better known in Europe? Pro Evolution Soccer. 
Yes. <laughs> I got it correct. Oh, oh my god, I, I didn't know that. When I saw that, I thought I had to answer that, and I was just like, is this FIFA or Pro Evil? Wait, did you really not know that? No, I... So... How would it not be uh, FIFA? How would it be because, FIFA? Because, you know, before FIFA, it was called something else, wasn't it? Yeah, I had that question before. And uh, I can't remember what it was called. Some shit nobody cares about. Yeah. Yeah, some soccer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dar. You ready? Uh, oh, fucking damn it. I don't know. It's always a bummer when you read it and it's like, God, this is so easy. <laughs> a lot of these no, seem no, pretty no. easy. No, yeah. scary that is for me, though. Okay. Let's see if you can get it really quickly. The Dreamcast... I don't know. ...was made by which well-known video game company? Oh, Sega. <laughs> Let oh me my check my notes. Hang on. You <laughs> confirm with the uh, people upstairs. Um, what does that say? Sega. Oh, you got it correct. Oh. <laughs> I swear to God, every time you say these questions are easy, I get so nervous. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it worse if I don't know them. <sighs> well, you got it. You got it right. Which uh. Yep, we both did it. Damn! Stop reading all the questions. I want to see if these are easy. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> You'll get there, all of them are easy. <laughs> Just shut up. <laughs> oh, my word. I need to look for a... Because uh, it's usually around Christmas Actually, time. one of those is... Well, I don't know about one, one of them. One of hard. I... I prefer the harder ones, because it makes things interesting. <laughs> but, like, uh, it, uh, yeah. Because um... it's, yeah, it's usually around Christmas time that they bring out these dumb, like, trivia card yeah, yeah. Like, gift yeah. games. And uh, I did see a bunch of them in, like, Tesco or something. Uh, they, they usually have them in. Um, but it was like what there was a uh, just general knowledge, knowledge trivia, okay, yeah. which is like fine, yeah, whatever, or uh, TV and film stuff, that which could be, be interesting. But be like, interesting. I I want them to put out another game. One. Yeah, Cause I'm sure if thing. you like shopped around, you could probably find something. I guess, yeah. We we need to find one that has like better questions. <laughs> yeah. But whatever, this will do for now anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, I'll I'll have a look and and, and see. Uh, you play some more? Have you played any more near? Um, I haven't played more near because I'm like an hour away from platinum spiral two. <laughs> I've got like two levels and then the final boss left. Can't believe you would play two spiral games in between the last time you played near and now. <laughs> it's so good. Though. All right, we'll finish them anyway because I want that disc off you so I can play it. Yeah, yeah, I'll probably finish spiral today and then. Well, not star, but continue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Cool. Okay. All right, we're going to let you go uh, whilst we wrap this up. Okie dokie, guys. Do- it was lovely talking to you. Do you want to uh, say anything else to the uh, lovely folks at home? Yeah, I love all... <laughs> oh, nice. well, we seem to lose signal. Um, yeah, I don't know. Happened. Yeah, that's that's a strange one. That was a mystery that will never be solved. Yep. Oh, strange. Well. Um... So, thanks everybody for listening. Yep. Um, I'm on Twitter at Axlums. Uh, Dan is on Twitter, doesn't really use it, so I don't really want to give that a shout out or not. Uh, but you can follow XDR yes, for uh, all that. of our uh, retweets and video posts and uh, and whatnot. Um, yeah, Burnout Revenge went up on the weekend. Yes, um, I hope people have checked that out and enjoyed that, because we sure did. Enough to uh, record a couple more episodes of Burnout Revenge. Uh, episode two went up yesterday, and three will go up uh, a little bit later on. Yeah. Um, and then we'll get around to doing Paradise for the uh, the final Saturday of December. That'll be fun. Which is uh, coming up in a, well, about a month away. And uh, yeah, looking forward to. We, we I think I'm pretty sure we've mentioned Paradise in every one of those videos. It's really good. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, it makes sense. Um, mm. So yeah, uh, fantasy fans and all the other stuff. Uh, we just recorded a video for the elusive target on Hitman Two. Yeah, the first one of those was up. So uh, look forward to that in the near future. I'm not entirely sure what our plans are for uh, December video wise, because um, I've sort of wrapped up my stuff. Devil May Cry finale will be going up tomorrow, and. Um, I haven't been, really been working on anything afterwards, but da- Damien's got stuff in the works and yeah. everything. And uh, and yeah, we're uh, looking forward to putting out some new 
new shows and stuff and lots mm. of fun interesting things so yeah Damien will be back next podcast possibly and, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you should be. yeah 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 you should be yeah mm. um, and hopefully he'll be over sometime this week to play more Fun Fantasy 10 oh. um, mm. yeah we uh, we we stopped playing Kingdom Hearts 2 to play <laughs> Fun Fantasy 10 um, because of there's some story plot type stuff which uh yeah. He doesn't quite know about yet, but hopefully uh maybe by the t- well, no, if he gets it's this tomorrow then yeah, he wouldn't know yet <laughs> just yet. But uh yeah, so um hmm. yeah, when he's on next we'll be able to talk about some uh, Kingdom Hearts and Final Fantasy and you know, the usual stuff maybe that we, we do. Yeah. Well, a lot of Spyro. <laughs> God damn, he's going to talk. You're going to describe the whole plot of both games. You're going to talk so. What is the plot on both games? Dragon turn into statues. Rescuing other dragons. Yeah, pretty much. You go headbutt statues and you. Uh, I can't rescue. wait to bring up the uh, fact that Sparks points towards gems. <laughs> God, he spent so long yeah, looking for one gem. I think I remember that. From... He said it was in three, but it was like an unlockable. But in this one, it Maybe. just it seems to be like in every yeah, game. Yeah, that's kind of cool. It's like the crash. They sort of tweak some stuff and. Yeah, but didn't they just like tweak the jumping and like that messed it up? Yeah, which yeah. He still got my copy of Crash, and I can't play it. I gave him that when it came out because I wasn't going to play it straight away. He platinum <laughs> Crash one. That's and bought it back, and I think that's it. Yeah. Ah, oh, what so a mess! Hopefully, next time he's over, he brings me Crash and Spyro, <laughs> and like a few other things. He still got my copy of Wally. Anyway, uh, yeah. So th- <laughs> thanks everybody for watching again yep. <laughs> and uh, listening, rather not watching. Although if this is up on YouTube, you could have watched it. It would have been like a static screen and nothing really much Add going some on. Add in there. Throw some stuff in there. No, don't tell Darian. To, he did that on the first episode and it was like a whole lot of work. He tried yeah, to it was like, Darian. Though, he it? tried to have like the title of the episode that we were like, or the, the title of the thing that we were talking about and footage of the thing that we were talking about. That's a bit mad. At least put some pictures of cats on there. And man, that was like two hours long and he was insane. <laughs> yeah. Uh, hmm. what a, I, I said why don't you just put a static screen he was like that would save a lot of time should I do put that put a picture of your Kirby up there what yeah okay sweet sweet Kirby All right. he's a very cool looking yeah he's really happy about that rice ball yeah maybe that can be the thumbnail it's pretty good no we got the same thumbnail for every every episode hmm. anyway so uh, we will see you again in two weeks hopefully with Darian being back mm-hmm.